so they had truth to control you, but they misled you with the lies that Jesus was a living man. That's the most fundamental lie of the Bible, that Jesus was a living man. When it's Jesus is the Son, they changed the letter U to an O. The letter J wasn't even in the English language for the first 400 years. <coughs> Why, yeah, yeah. Matthew Burrill always said yeah. that. It was the Yosef. But it was Jay Luck on a fish story. <laughs> Jay Luck on a fish story. Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm starting to get it now. You got Jay Luck. And they reeled, they reeled them in. That was part. They pulled the money out of your pocket. They passed yeah. the collection plate around. Because all they worship at your church is money. That's. Their God mm -hmm. is money. Yeah, take their money away from their church, dude. They go nuts. Look at that Joel Osteen guy. Fucking Joel Osteen, that guy goes nuts when he don't get money. That's, that's the one truth in the Bible that we can decode that's still intact. It's that the life is in the blood. But it's your blood. It's not somebody else's blood. Animal sacrifice is insufficient, meaning you can't go spill somebody else's blood and expect that blood to make payment. It's like, brought, you know, stealing money from somebody else. You can't, you can't spill somebody else's blood. It has to be your own blood. That's yeah, it's not the sheep, dude. You can't buy your way into heaven, motherfucker. <laughs> Quite a simple giving concept, money, you know. It's not very complicated. <laughs> I think we complicate things because it's hard to let go of the truth we were told. People have a lot invested in a lie. It's, all the people around us yeah. are still brain brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're programmed with these mental constructs, and it's very difficult because you're dealing with dead souls. They have no life in them, and they, you know, they're in positions of power around us. They control the the. Main, that we live in. Mm -hmm. Yep. I worship you all. I'm gonna have to get off and get some disease so I can go to work in the AM. No mm -hmm. doubt. Take care. All right, Rex. Thank you. Worship your brother. Right, right, man. Thanks like for this. stopping in. We're lucky to have Rex. He's such a powerful warrior. His message is always so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He hits like a so dagger sweet. every time. So dagger or two. Piercing. Like he said, he's got to sharpen his sword every time he does a good job. It's your boy. It's your boy. Yo! Uh, Joshua, what's up, bro? Living the dream. Yeah, I hear that. We're, we're, just, we're just talking about the Holy Grail. We're still we're still on the, the path that you need to, you got to live for this cause. I know you think that maybe we have to die, but I think that's a misconception there. There's something uh, like you can't die, or you're dead. Or <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, we're pretty sure that you gotta dive into the holy hole while you're still alive. This is about life, and yep, I'm pretty sure that's what what the mission is. As far as Mark brought us, oh, I'm so. Yeah, we're in the embryonic, we're in the embryonic tube, the mother tube, and we need to be birthed out. We need to be birthed out of our mother. We, we were all birthed in, we must be birthed out. We all bleed in, we must bleed out, you know? Yeah, you gotta get to the Holy Grail while you're still alive, while you still have a body to save, otherwise, I don't know. You don't have anything to save if you're a ghost if you're a spirit you're you're no longer attached to the physical you'll have to get another body which will mean you'll have to be born all over again yeah it's awesome we're here standing in truth man And anybody can do it. <laughs> it's not rocket science. People are actually going to... I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen people, you know, do some great things when they when they feel like they're doing the right thing, you know? 
But the problem is, is you're not. <laughs> you're not doing the right thing. We thought it was right too at one time. You know, what everybody else is doing right now, we thought that was the right thing too. But it's not. You're just fucking in the book of the dead for all the right reasons, dude. Everything's by the book. How do they not see it's by the book? Everything is by the book. It's all it's amazing times, man. By the first generation of fiction. The book. Hear this out. Nobody knew any of this. Five years, six, seven years ago, this information did not exist in this reality. It wasn't here. Mm -mm. That's the, that's my. forever so we're first in line and winning where we're, there's no better position to be in exactly. first in line and winning <laughs> we win and we're waiting for everybody else to come win too come win with us motherfucker here's a question yeah, like, so, you know. say you don't make it to the holy grail then what do you reckon is going to happen you'll die Physical death. I love point, it. You'll, like if if you don't drink from the living waters, eventually you'll get old. 80, 90 years old, you'll you know you'll die of old age. Your heart will stop at some point. You'll have a heart attack, or you'll slip and fall and bang your head, blunt force trauma, or you'll you'll die of stupidity, racing around or being in the wrong place at the wrong time, get run over by a forklift at work, or. You know, just some man, you know, you'll just the wrong, you'll be in the wrong place, you'll, you'll die. If you die a physical death, your soul will be ejected from your body, and you'll become an orb, an, an etheric. Your, your body will, will die, um, you'll still need to get to the Holy Grail, but now you don't have a body. Hmm. And... There is a Saturn moon matrix here. There is some kind of a spirit roar, like a square wave. That it's a magnetic trap. It's like a tractor beam, and it locks onto your soul. And they're showing you Star Wars. The Death Star is the moon, mm -hmm. and that wave is creating this poisonous well. It, it, it will invert your memories. You'll go through this moon trap, and you're you're you'll be wiped, your, your memories are wiped, mm -hmm. and then you basically your soul gets released from the moon back in down into this realm and you eventually, your bio photons will fuse to a, a cell at some point if your family gives you another body, if you had, if your bloodline carried on, it's probably connected to your bloodline. Mm -hmm. Now remember this, I showed you that video on the cube, so the abyss and the firmament are in the cube. So we're in the cube, the cube is in the earth. So we're in the earth. So the firmament and the abyss are both in the cube. So when we die, we're no longer under the firmament. Yeah, we're the roof, we're in the roof. We're exploring information around this whole puzzle. Well, we no have one to knows this out, I agree. With. Yeah, but the abyss and the firmament are both parts of the cube. Mm hmm. Because this is hell. It would appear the firmament is like an amniotic sac. Like the, our mother's womb. When you were inside your mother for nine months, you were in a sac. It's called the amniotic sac. Mm hmm. That's what I said. That's what and that's what they call it the water breaking, the sac breaks. Wait. If we go into the moon, it's the same as going into our next mother's egg. That's above, so below, that's within, gotta, so without. I believe you gotta go to the hole and dive. You gotta go to your body above the water by being birthed through the the birthing canal at the center of the earth. 
it's Mother Earth's holy hole, and that's that you've got to consciously walk into it and die. Like you got to take your soul through the hole while you still have a body, and then you, you need, need to get process. through the tube, which is in the tube. You don't need the tube anymore when you die. So just remember that that's not in the tube anymore. You're in the tube now. You're half in the cube, half out of the cube. This is your rainbow connection. This is the rainbow bridge. The Aurora Borealis is the rainbow bridge. This is the Holy Ghost. Because when you find the Holy Ghost, you found your other half. Your other half, your kindred spirit, your soulmate, as it were, is in the cube. We're in the cube, but that's just the shadow self. It's just an illusion. So when we die, we lose that shadow, and then we're back to our true state. This is why God is L. L is the 90 degree angle. What do we do when we cast a shadow? 90 degrees. God is L. That is L. L or an eye cast shadow. Well, well, we're good to figure it out or nobody's going anywhere that's i mean we're, I, i'm pretty sure we got to go to the holy grail while we're still alive drink the living waters deeper, no. you don't have to go through the hole you can drink the living waters and stay here and live with the fountain of youth you'll be young yeah, you'll, you'll be full of life drinking your urine is the closest thing in menstrual blood menstrual blood and urine I'm both very powerful. How come, how come Satan doesn't tell us this though? How come Satan tells us otherwise? Satan talks about the living Satan. waters. The, the blood red waters at the center of the earth. Where stem fell. I didn't hear Satan telling everybody, you know, that Satan was pissed. I mean, he might have said, yeah, it's beneficial, but he's not out there promoting it. So he's like, here, you the best. You know, that's your, that's your holy grail. Or telling people, you know, that we gotta die to be birthed out. He's seeing the complete opposite of both those things. I need to talk to Mark. We're trying to get What's Mark the to chance to talk to us. It's like Rex Rex hung out with Satan. And uh, Satan was joking, or Rex was joking around with Satan and said something about dying or something, you know, just because that's how we're programmed. And Satan kind of freaked out on him, dude, and told him, no, you're going to live. Live for this cause. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, do that. We're here to live. I'm going to live. We're going to live for this cause, right? And people don't have I'm to like it. The, they don't. I'm going to get to the Holy Grail. That's right. Up into the lake of fire and set myself ablaze. We're going to be but burnt no up. It's, it's about life, not death. There's no such thing as death. Remember this. Right. So why why even talk so about it? The shadow dots. Right. This one's about the shadow. So we're gonna live. Problem? We're gonna if live for this cause. If your physical body dies, then your soul, you're in an energy form. You'll you'll just wind up coming back as an infant. You you gotta go, go, hey, go watch some old Mark videos, dude. Those will set you straight. Go we'll watch some old Mark Quasi videos, dude. I'm watching nearly everything of his. I'm watching nearly all of his. Oh, I know. But sometimes you gotta go back and watch him again, because... Yeah, my man, if you, feel, if, you feel like you got, if you feel like you're gonna be more powerful, my nigga, when you get out of here, my nigga, what's the point of being here now? Right? The <laughs> <laughs> point of being here. There's plenty of reasons. I'm saying if we're more powerful and it's worthless being here and we won't know nothing until we die, then what's up? Tell me. Enlighten me. I need to know this. Well, some people came here to save other souls. Some people came here for the experience. Some people were tricked into coming here. How are we going to know the difference? This is where you told me the Lord's karma. I did a whole fucking two hour video on talking to the Lord of Karma. Damn. Hmm. Good work, man. Good work. Uh, the laws of karma, yeah, where you're tricked into signing contracts.